worked out. A new study has found people could be ingesting as much as five grams of plastic every week. That's the equivalent weight of a credit card. The study commissioned by the Worldwide Fund for Nature says the largest source of plastic ingestion is from bottled and tap water. Well, David Tong is WWF New Zealand's programme manager. He's with me in the studio now at the Marie. At the Marie. So it's coming from the water. It's the water we drink and that's how the plastic is getting into our bodies. It is in the water. That's one of the biggest sources. But it's in salt. It's in beer. It's in all our food. Plastic has entered the food chain. And so how's it got in there? We have used a huge volume of plastic over the last 50 years. In New Zealand, we use about 31 kilos of plastic every year. One sixth of that is recycled. And so that plastic gets out into the ecosystem. It breaks down, it gets into the water, it gets into the soil. So it gets into things like shellfish particularly, and then that's another way that it can get into human bodies. It's embedded in the food chain. It's in the food chain, throughout the food chain. What does that mean for health? We don't know what it means for human health. We know that it's entered over 240 animal species. We've seen studies in shellfish and marine life, everything from seabirds to whales, but there's no study on the impact of plastic on humans that we know of yet. So we just don't know, and that's the scary thing. Is there any way of getting it out of the food chain? We don't have an answer to get rid of the microplastics that are already there. What we do know is that if we stop wasting plastic, we stop throwing plastic out into nature, we can stop more getting into the food chain. But it might be something that now that it's there, it could be either there forever or it could take a very long time to get rid of. It will take a really long time. It takes hundreds of years or thousands of years to break down. But we hope innovation and new ideas will find ways to get these microplastics out of the food chain. So how can people protect themselves more? What sort of things can you cut down on or avoid to prevent yourself ingesting more plastic? It's in the water. You can't avoid drinking water. And so the best thing to do is to use your voice, use your power as a person, as a member of our democratic society, to call on our governments to stop letting more plastics get into the food chain. And this is around the world? All around the world. Are there any parts of the world that are better or worse? There is some variation. We have some geographic detail in the study between the Europe is somewhat better than the US, for example, but we don't have data for New Zealand. So we don't know where New Zealand sits. We know the Pacific is one of the plastic hotspots of the world. But what does that mean for New Zealand? We don't have that data. Thank you very much for your time. That's David Tong, uh, who is the programme manager for WWF New Zealand. It is four minutes to eight. Employers are being warned they could be at risk of breaking the law if they don't change.